Blessings chosen ones. Okay, my phone cut off. I am on the laptop, so this is not showing too clearly for me. So I know it ain't going to show too clearly for you, but I pray that you all stay on the video and listen to the words in the name of Jesus. This is part six of wilderness season in Jesus name. And this is the part two of the video in the name of Jesus. I had to get back on here and do this video with you all because I know it's the enemy and I know the enemy don't want this word to get out because he do not want you all to know the truth in certain things that we need to know in the body of Christ. He try to do whatever he can to stop us from knowing the truth in Jesus name. So as I had left off on part two, what I was saying is that our father does not care. If it's the angels, if it's anybody, the preachers, it does not matter. If you are not teaching his word with sincerity, if you are not teaching his people the truth in the name of Jesus, you are in trouble in Jesus' name. That is basically what Peter is saying. They are in trouble in the name of Jesus. It's nothing we can do about it. You know, it's, it's in God's hands. When they do something that is not right in God's eyes, they in trouble in the name of Jesus. So Peter is just telling us to simply look out for people like that, to watch out for people like that in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to start reading and finish, continue reading in verse nine. It says, then the Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust under punishment for the day of judgment. And especially those who walk according to the flesh in the lusts of uncleanness and despise authority. They are presumptuous, self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil or dignitaries, whereas angels who are greater in power and might do not bring a reviling uh, accusation against them before the Lord in the name of Jesus. So the ones who don't like authority, they want to talk against authority and everything. They want to believe their own beliefs. And you know, they are in trouble. You all, this is just God's going to judge them. That is what this is about. And this is something that is important for us to know. Because when you are in the wilderness, you need to know these things. As I said in the last video, you have to be careful who you are listening to. You can't be listening to this voice, that voice, and that voice, and that voice because you don't know who is right and who is wrong. So that is why you are supposed to take it to prayer. You're supposed to talk to God about it. You're supposed to make sure that you are reading your Bible or you are looking for that scripture or whatever they are talking about or telling you it got to be in the Bible. Holy Spirit just said, just the fact. Yes, you have to make sure that it is true, you all. You have to make sure that it is accurate. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Okay, you all. It say, but these like, this is depravity of false teachers. That's the title of this. But these like natural brute Beasts made to be caught and destroyed, speak evil of the things they do not understand and will utterly perish in their own corruption. So these people, they even speak of evil. They don't even understand that. And we could see, we see this all the time. You may tell somebody something and they don't believe it. They don't want to listen to it. They think what they are saying is right. In Jesus' name, instead of taking it to God, instead of reading a Bible and making sure what you have said to them is the truth. Because everything is not a lie. Some things are to grow your wisdom so you can understand in the name of Jesus. Okay, it says, and we'll receive the wages of unrighteousness as those who counted pleasure to carouse, carouse in the daytime. Carouse is, they want to, you know, just party and, and, and drink alcohol and do all that. That's what that word means, y'all. 
They are spots and blemishes carousing in their own deceptions while they feast with you. In the name of Jesus, having eyes full of adultery and they cannot cease from sin, enticing unstable souls. They have a heart trained in covetous, com, com, covetous practices and are accursed children. So, they like to mess with the unstable souls in the name of Jesus. They want to um, make sure that these people are listening to them, even though they are evil and they are not right in the name of Jesus. They are not right in God's eyes in the name of Jesus. They are accursed children in Jesus' name. Y'all, you have to look out for all this. They have forsaken the right way and gone astray, following the way of Balaam and the son of Beor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness, but he was rebuked for his iniquity. No iniquity is sin. A dumb donkey speaking with a man's voice restrained the madness of the prophet. These are wells without water, clouds carried by a tempest for whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. In the name of Jesus, y'all, got to pay attention. You have to pay attention and know who you are around. Know who you are listening to and everything. You must know. You must understand this. In the name of Jesus, you must go back and read this scripture, this whole Peter, 2 Peter, 1 Peter 2. Go back and read it. In the name of Jesus, deceptions of false teachers. For when they speak great swelling words of emptiness, they allure through the lust of the flesh, through lewdness, the ones who have actually escaped from those who live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are slaves of corruption. For by whom a person is overcome by him also is being, is, is brought into bondage. So this is the deceptions of the false teachers. They are already unstable or going through their own things, their own mess in the name of Jesus. And what this is saying is, they are living in injustice. They are living in lewdness. But the thing is, these people is already full of corruption, but they try to corrupt other people and bring them along the journey with them, knowing that they are not right in God's eyes. You don't do nothing like that to a person. You don't do nothing like that to no one in the name of Jesus, in Jesus name, in Jesus name. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge, through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled in them and overcome the latter end is worse for them than the beginning. For it would have been better for them not to have known the way of the of righteousness than having known it to turn from the holy commandment, the commandment delivered to them. But it has happened to them according to the true proverb. A dog returns to his own vomit and a soul having washed to her wallowing in the mire. In the name of Jesus. I'm sorry if you all just hear that. Y'all hear, hear my son. He kind of loud. He playing a game or something. Oh my goodness. But. So if. Let's say someone is preaching and teaching. So they know the right thing we are supposed to do. And they sharing it with other people in the world or whatever. But they are still living unjustly. They step, they say themselves. They are, ne they are not living right in God's eyes. It's worse. That's, that's worse. That's worse than a person that don't even know it at all. Don't even know how to, you know, that need help in the name of Jesus. 
So they are in more trouble. The people that know how God wants us to live and you are not walking in it, that's worse than a person who do not know at all in the name of Jesus. So I just wanted to finish reading this to you all. And I will read three tomorrow and then we will be done. We will be done with week one. But I just pray that you all have gained some understanding out of this video. And I pray that you all will take every word to God in the name of Jesus. That you all will go back and look at this video again in Jesus name. And I'm sorry. Look at the video again and read your Bible in the name of Jesus. Take notes, write down what you do not understand in the name of Jesus. I will, I will list the description, the scriptures in the description box. But basically you all, what Peter is telling us in chapter two, he is saying that we have to be careful. He's talking about a lot of false prophets and teachers in this word right here so we have to be careful of that and be leery of everybody but we must not grow weary in well-doing in the name of jesus thank you holy spirit he just put that scripture in my head in the name of jesus just make sure you all are following god's way and not the ways of the world in jesus name and I just thank God that he brought us to Peter, you know, because it's some things in here that we all need to know and we need to relearn or whatever. We need to know this in the times we are in right now. And you need to know this, especially when you are in your wilderness season. This plays a big part. So I really understand why the Holy Spirit said go to Peter. I understand it now. And I pray that you all understand it also. I pray that this word has blessed you all. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Blessings to you all. I love you all with the love of Christ. Have a beautiful night. Have a beautiful day. In Jesus name. I will see you all and talk to you all in the next video. Blessings to you all.